Hello, I'm Mike Levin of MikeLevinSEO.com, and after that exhausting session getting Python to run automatically under Arch Linux as soon as you turn it on connected to the net, I figured I'd talk about much easier Python execution context. Remember, we're going to talk about scheduled under cron or alternatively under systemd that I learned. We already did as a web server. Uh, we're going to trigger it off as a command line, and uh, we're going to work our way towards a bookmarklet as soon as possible. But there's this fun instant execution context for Python called the interactive command line interpreter. And any system that has Python installed, you can just type Python, and bam, you're in the interpreter. Uh, it's telling you it's version 3.4.1, and uh, it used to be the first thing you did was the hello world, which used to be in Python what's called a statement as opposed to a function. And if you tried to do the Python 2.x hello world, it's going to fail. Uh, that would be print hello world. Okay? It fails. Why? Well, because statements are very special in a programming language, like uh, the def statement in Python tells it you're creating a block of code for a function, and uh, they're much less common than functions. Functions, the Python interpreter does not have to be specifically aware of the name of the function ahead of time. It can load it all from external sources. That's a long way of saying that the purists at Python 1 and print got changed from a statement into a function which takes parentheses. The first example would work under Python 2.x. When you're under th Python 3.x, you need to put parentheses around it. Hello world. Now you're actually in an environment where you can write Python code. Uh, not everything needs to be in a function. I can just name a variable some nums and set it equal to a list, some nums. Well, one, two, three are some nums. And square brackets are Python's representation of a list, a mutable, that is, changeable list. And if I wanted to step through those nums, I could say for a num, which is an arbitrary name for each item in the list, in some nums, colon, important point about Python, return, space, space for an indent, the amount of spaces is arbitrary so long as you're consistent, print, a num, close parentheses, return, and the second return, the first blank line return, will execute your Python code in this interactive environment. Bam, one, two, three. Well, Lists are these wonderful things. Uh, it's why it's one of the various reasons people talk about Python as a pre-built framework. It's a language that's a lot like a web framework. Everyone's favorite sport is to add the last 20% and say, hey, I made a new web, web framework, or programming framework for that matter. Ruby on Rails being one of the most famous recent examples of, of a framework. Well, let me show you appending lists together how easy it is. You got some nums, and I'll make more nums. And just to show it doesn't have to be sequential, it was quite arbitrary, I'll count down. Uh, two, comma, one. And I'll just throw in, uh, you know, a literal like X, just to make a point that how flexible these lists are. They're not typed arrays. And I'll say all nums equals some nums plus more nums. And now I can just ask it to show it. I can do print all nums or because the interactive console makes the print statement not really necessary. I could just type all nums for the same result. 
And I could step through it in a loop if I wanted to for, and you can use arbitrary things, x in all nums, space, space, x. Same deal. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, x. And uh, to exit, you would think it's just the word exit. Well, remember those functions? The purists at Python 1 and uh, everything that should be a function pretty much now is a function. So it's exit. Welcome to the easiest execution context of Python. Does something work? Fire up a console and try it. You could even put functions in here using the def statement and try fairly complex things, copying and pasting right out of your code from a text file. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon.